Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Prince Royce. Okay, so. And um, what do you do here in uh, Manhattan? What am I doing in Manhattan? Well, I'm uh, hanging out. I'm originally from the Bronx, so I'm visiting family. I was on tour, just released my fifth Latin album in February. We got Shakira on it. We got Gente Son Arturo Sandoval, Chris Brown, Zendaya. And I'm running my first marathon this Sunday. I've been training about six months, even during tour. So I'm excited to finally, you know, do the run. Well, originally it was kind of like a like a challenge with my cousin. My cousin runs a lot. He started running like two years ago, um, and like six months ago we were at Central Park, and he's like, you know, come over for a run. And I ended up buying my first pair of running sneakers, um, and then that's kind of where it all started. And now I'm running for for uh, two charities that I, two charities that I believe in. One is National Kidney Foundation. The other is Change for Kids for uh, public schools in New York. Um, and it just kind of changed my life ever since I started running. Um, so I think something that kind of started as a joke has become very serious, and I'm excited to just kind of fulfill this journey and, you know, kind of face this difficult challenge that I've never faced before. We may have a completely different life after a marathon, if you're kind of saying. A lot of people tell me that, you know. I kind of, you know, you don't know what to expect. I already ran 20 miles uh, last week, and I did the trail except Staten Island, but, yeah, I'm kind of just curious to see how I feel afterwards. Cool. That's awesome. And uh, how old are you? I'm uh, 28. And now, did you ever, did you play high school or college sports? Um, not so much. Okay. I was never really into sports. I got into, like, the gym, like, three years ago. Um, never ran, never really, you know, I played a little basketball, but never did too much, too many physical things. So it's it's actually very, you know, it's 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 life-changing for me already to, to get really, you know, athletic. So you always concentrate basically on music? Yeah, I was always doing music. I was doing poetry in, high, in junior high school, high school always into the arts and this is kind of like the first time that I get so physical. I hated cardio before, never, couldn't run for my life, couldn't, you know, run a mile and I really can't, I mean, when I did the 20 miles last week, I couldn't believe that, so I, could, I can't imagine how I'd feel this Sunday. Well, you are going to have a great time. Well, good luck and thank you for doing this. Thank you guys so much. And I think it's great you're raising some money for charity. Yes, sir. And uh, you guess what, as they say, a marathon change your life forever. Hope so. And you guys go on crowdarise.com forward slash Prince Royce Runs NYC to donate. And also my friends at Sprint, if you go on royceforsprint.com and sign up for the Rewards Club, they'll be uh, donating money for everybody that signs up. So that's oh, really that's cool. Great. I appreciate it. Um, Mr. Hollywood. So uh, that's right. Well, you're still looking at Hollywood like a music mogul. I don't know about that. I'll stick my eyes up. Well, you're doing great. Well, so what's it like coming to this event? Today? This is actually my first time, so you know it's, it's all new to me. I'm looking forward to the evening. I, I hear the schedule and and the menu. Most importantly, is supposed to be wonderful. So hopefully, it's a great evening. Um, it's a very creative event, and, and it's new for me. And I'm a sneaker guy. You know, I got on satin shoes. So you know, anytime I get to s showcase those things, you know, it's a good evening. So, so have you ever been here before? I've been to the Armory, yeah, I competed here last year, but I haven't been to the event, so this is my first time. So. Well, do you feel like you're in Hollywood? Yeah. New York is a little a little more prestigious than Hollywood, I think, in my eyes. So so I'm, we won up to Hollywood on this on this trip. So. Where are you from? Ohio. Oh, Ohio. what, what yeah. part of Ohio? Toledo, Ohio. Okay, Toledo, Toledo Ohio. just down the road from where I am. I'm in, just down north of Detroit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're neighbors. Yeah, there that's it is. right. There there it is. city type thing. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, have fun tonight, and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you have, very have much. Good time. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we have one of our USA TF alumni members here, and he's the vice president of the Alumni Association, and uh, definitely.
definitely a, a big time hurdler. You won a gold medal, right? Won uh, two world championship goals and two Olympic silver. Yep, okay, and the 110 hurdles. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, well, uh, what's it like being in, in here in the armory? You said it's your first time ever. Well, it's my first time at this event. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last time I was here at the armory is when I won my last race oh. as a hurdler. Uh, <laughs> At, at, at 35 years old. That was in uh, 2014. Oh, okay. Very, very recently, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But it's good to be back. It's uh, really good to be back. You're in a different path. Right, right. Looking, re looking real smooth tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And um, so, like I said, first time ever at this event. Um, right. Feel like a little bit of Hollywood here? You know what it does, and, and this is something I've always wanted to do, so I think this is right up my alley. I, I, I would like to do more of these. You well, know. now you've got time to do it. Yeah, yeah, now I have time to do it, and, um, you know, look forward to doing it. Well, I remember I, one time you were talking about starting a clothing line. Mm -hmm. you, how was that one? So it's, it's coming along slowly but surely, uh, Astron uh, Sports Apparel, and I've also started my nonprofit, uh, Tremel Athletics, and uh, what we do is we focus on speed development, health and wellness, and anti-bullying uh, for various areas around the Atlanta area, but we look to branch out here soon, so um, be on the lookout. We have a lot of camps and speaking engagements and uh, mentorship programs that we do, so you know we're, uh, we're looking to make a huge impact on the community. Good. Well, that's great. You're doing stuff now, giving back to the community after all these years of Definitely. doing the thing on the track and Definitely. now, you know, being part of the community. Oh, yeah. By all means. Well, have a wonderful evening and good luck today. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Sending to Carl. Lattimore, singer, actor, uh, recently in the film Detroit, uh, Will Smith film Collateral Beauty with Helen Mirren and uh, Kate Winslet. Jacob Lattimore. It's what? me, it's me, baby. That's right. So, what is the movie Detroit about? Uh, Detroit revolves around uh, the, the 1967 Detroit riots oh. and uh, the police brutality that was going on, and an incident that happened specifically at the uh, Algiers Motel. Okay. Yeah. Have you been there filming it? Uh, yeah, we were. In, we actually filmed a lot of it in Boston. We filmed like the last couple weeks in Detroit. Cool. Yeah. Why do you like Detroit? I love Detroit. Detroit's a beautiful city. Artsy city. It's a very interesting place. Yeah. Well, now back to the event tonight. How do you feel about giving Carl Lewis the legend? That's incredible. You know, we got to pay, pay respect to our athletes. You know, they work hard. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be incredible. I can't wait to shake his hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah the one of the fastest men in the world. Yeah. After all these years, he's still the great Greatest, all time. You know, and, uh, well, I, I think that's great. Now, you live here in New York? No, I, I live in Atlanta. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, yeah. So, first time ever here at the Armory? Uh, yes, first time here, but, uh, you know, not a stranger to New York, though. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey, good luck and have fun uh, getting Carl with us up here. I appreciate it. Thank you, yes. guys. Yep. Nothing like him with someone to lunch. Yeah, yes, that's right. That's right. Enjoy your evening. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. Good luck. So we're here with Natasha Hastings, and uh, well, is this your first time ever being at this event? Oh my gosh, I've been to all three. Well, tonight's the third night, so the third year, so I've been to all three. So I'm, I'm excited. And uh, you have a wonderful dress on. Um, did you kind of make that yourself, or did you have something? No, this dress is by a lovely designer, Essie Azenabor. She does all the hand beating herself. So no, I did not dress myself. Although I would love to have such a dress like this. <laughs> and uh, so, are you thinking about the that you would uh, sign the modeling contracts? How's all that going? Um, it's going well. I'm still kind of doing stuff on the side. I'm doing a lot of stuff with my main sponsor Under Armour, but then I do some other things with some of my other sponsors. So it's cool, kind of juggling track slash modeling. Now you grew up here. Yes. And do you still live here? No, I don't. I'm in Texas now. But I always get a rush when I come back. I, I always say that the arm was even a bank oh, track. Okay. So I have a tremendous history here. So you watched it all time. Yes, yes. I Sometimes I come back and I don't even recognize the place. Did you know Norb Sanders? No. The guy who put this all together. Oh. He, he, uh, he just got inducted to the USA. Into the New York okay. No, I take that back. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Did you get 
get to know him pretty well? Not personally, but I think we will in coming years. The more I get involved back here in New York. Well, I see all the reference that kids have had. Here. Yeah. This is quite the place. This is like my second time. Is it? No, it's amazing. It's electric. There's a ton of energy through here. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm a testimony to that. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, we have an Olympic gold medal lawn jumper, Brittany Reese here. And I love her outfit. Check it out. Check out the shoes. Well, this this is New York. And, uh, have you been to this event before? No, this is my first year coming. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, and of course, you competed here. At the yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm maybe like twice. Uh, I was just talking to the um, the people over there and thinking about coming back. Well, it's kind of an electric place. Right? Yeah, it's, that's for sure. I've been here just a couple of times myself. For sure. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's nice. It's nice. Okay, so. so what do you think about this event? This Walking so far, the red carpet. Yeah. yeah, so far this is fun. You know, I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm glad to be back in New York once again. Uh, I just came here to just support and um, just have a great time. And uh, now where do, where do you live? I'm living in California, in Chula Vista, California, training at the Olympic Training Center. Okay. Now, do you, did you, uh, are you from out here this way? No, I'm from Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, I'm a long, I'm a long so way. you just come to New York, obviously, occasion. Yeah, just for the occasion. Yeah, that's, that's great. Well, hey, have fun tonight. Thank you, thank you. That's a great event. Yes, yes. So, well, have a good time, and thank you. you are stylish. <laughs> have a great time. Thank you. Yeah. Justin Gatlin here. Okay, well, I have one of my fellow race walkers, Maria Mitka Coffee, and she's looking stunning tonight with these hot looking sneakers and the whole shot. Well, uh, is this your first time at this event? Yeah, yeah, this is my first time. Been to the armory many times and never seen it so glitzy and glam before. You've raced here for years, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. Since uh, since high school, freshman year. Over a decade. Over a decade, yeah. The life goes by fast. Well, this is on my second time here, and this is quite the place. And yeah, they've done a, cool, a lot of cool stuff with it. So, uh, what do you what are you expecting tonight? I know. I'm kind of just going to take it all in and enjoy the experience. And now, are you uh, still training out in Long Island? Yep, uh, recovering from knee surgery, but uh, still able to enjoy the weather a little bit. So I'm lucky that I've been recouping well enough that I can take advantage of the weather. Now, are you teaching now? Yes, I uh, just came from teaching earlier today, this afternoon, out at Suffolk County Community College. Yep, just down the road at I Can School of Medicine. That is awesome. Second career already set up. Yeah. <laughs> What, uh, what do you got kind of planned for next year? I don't know. We're kind of taking it one step at a time. We're not rushing through my recovery. Um, probably looking at Milrose might be my first real race, so maybe being back here again in slightly different attire. Okay. Well, you know, this is the big marathon weekend. Did you ever do the marathon here? No, but I do want to run a marathon, and I want it to be New York. Well, well I am running, well, very slow, probably more of a walk, be my number 19. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll be around mile 23 marker on Sunday cheering. <laughs> yes. Maybe you can come over to the club and say hello when we get all done. <laughs> Sounds good. We have Carl Lewis here who's going to get the Legends Award. How does that feel to get that award? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of like when people say, um, you know, gray, gray hair is, is wisdom. The old people get the Legends Award, but but you know I'm embracing that right now. That's why I'm wearing my gray hair. But no, it, it, it's amazing because think to think that I'm getting a Legends Award from people that I went to battle with for so many years um, is, is amazing because time softens, but it also allows you to look back what people are really like, and, and we're all on the same page now trying to improve our sport, and that's something that I'm doing as a coach at the University of Houston or the Perfect Method, or even just out here with whatever I do with the athletes and kids and the, and the community. So I think it tells me that we're on the same page now trying to go forward, and that's the way I look at it. Well, now, what's it like tonight? Having your fellow teammate put into the whole thing, Leroy. 
I, I tell you, it, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, Leroy and I now are joined at the hip, and you know, he he. It's really funny because we call him the, the mayor of um, H Town Speed City, and I guess I'm his deputy because I'm the assistant coach with him. And we're we're having so much fun, and for it to be this year, I've known for a while this was going to happen, but for him to get that call a few a few weeks ago was really exciting. I mean, he's without question should be in the Hall of Fame. What he's not just done as as, a, as an athlete, world record holder, Olympic gold medalist. But as a coach, this is his 20th year. He never thought he'd be a coach, and he's gone on to have a lot of success. So I'm really proud of him. Um, it's a guy that I recruited in high school, and now he's going into the Hall of Fame, and I could be there that same night. So I'm really excited for him. That's awesome. And then uh, what about uh, now that the L.A. has got the Olympics and he's coming back in a decade, what do you think that will do for uh, track and field and all Olympic sports in the U.S.? Uh, you know, it's a unique opportunity having the Olympics back in the United States for us to build the brand of all of our sports. I know track and field needs to seize that moment. You know, I did a lot of work, everything I could possibly do to help 2028. I'm already getting the athletes that I work with excited about it. Um, there's a chance that we're going to have multiple people to be there. So the excitement for me is huge. And, and the opportunity, I think, for America is great. But the biggest thing is that track and field needs to seize this, this next 11 years and realize that we can use that as a tremendous branding tool to make our sport exactly what we want it to be and what it can be. For sure. And uh, anything else, you know, like they were talking about the IAAF and some other things? Well, I, I, yeah, yeah. Well, the biggest thing is that I think we're at a unique time. You know, I think if people are talking about what we're losing. I think we're gaining. We have a tremendous opportunity to reshape our sport. We have a new uh, Seb is still relatively new as, as the head of the IAAF. Um, we have new young American athletes, sprinters that are coming along. Uh, we can talk about it from a business standpoint. I think that's evolving. So I think it's the greatest time and the greatest opportunity to create new bold ideas and move our sport forward with many stars and not you know not not focus on one little area. Well, for sure. And like this weekend, it's the big. We need to do. For sure. Well, hey, have a great evening and congratulations. Great, thank you. Okay. Well, I have Brian Clay with me here, and he is uh, getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this evening. Well, how does that feel? You know, it's a huge honor to, to be mentioned in, in kind of some of the same, like Carl Lewis, Dan O'Brien, um, you know, Jackie Joyner, Kersey. I mean, so many of the people that I watched growing up that I that I looked at and I was like, hey, that's I want to do that. Um, to be able to see that come full circle and, and, and actually be inducted into the same Hall of Honor that, they, that they're in, uh, it's it's I don't know. There's no words to describe it. It's just it's just amazing. And you came up, you know, what's amazing? You came up with some humble beginning. Yeah. And turned into. Everything. You know, I think about it every day. I think about the fact that uh, where I started and how I started. I remember Chris Huffins gave me my first like the shoes off of his feet. You know, so that I had shoes to run in. I mean, it, it, we we didn't have a whole lot, and and I didn't come. And so to be able to, to see the beginnings come from a small state, Hawaii, uh, and then go to a small school, Azusa Pacific University, and then to come out and be able to accomplish some of the things that I was able to, um, it just reminds me every day of how, how blessed how blessed I am. I, and I don't take life for granted. I don't take any every. I take every day, you know, as it comes. And and uh, and I remember that that what I'm doing today and what I've gotten to do are, are none of that was was a was an entitled uh, thing. It was it was all something that was that was I was blessed with. It was all a, a blessing. And, and and I can't tell you how humbled I am by that. Well, that that is really great. Do you work with kids quite a bit now? Uh, you know, I work with kids. I've got my foundation, of course, where we do some things in the community. I live in Glendora, California, so that's where we're doing some things. We've also got, um, I, I do some corporate consulting, and so I'll do events there. Um, I've got two companies that I started, and so that keeps me busy. And then, really, my focus has been my family. It's been it's been trying to be the best husband and the best dad I can be to my three kids and uh, making sure that I'm taking care of that side of things, um, and then everything else comes after that. That's super. Well, hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it.